It would be remiss of me, really, if I don't talk at least something about, if I don't say something about the um, attack on Torpedza and the, and also the attack by Ukraine on the missile stockpile, the Russian missile stockpile near Mariupol. Uh, about a hundred drones were apparently used in the attack on Torpedza in uh, this oblast, uh, the Tver oblast. And the local town, uh, the, the, the mayor said everything is okay. Uh, there's a little bit of falling debris, but there was such huge blasts seen from space that the local mayor then evacuated the town. It was that bad. And the, 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 this, was a, um, uh, this was a stockpile warehouse that was built to be nuclear resistant. It would, it would withstand a nuclear bomb opened between 2015 and 2018 with a big sort of fanfare and clearly completely useless. The Russians are boasting that they took down 54 Ukrainian drones, three over Belgorod, but clearly they didn't do anything over the Tver Oblast. Uh, that was a bit of a disaster, really. In the meantime, there's also a story coming out about the torture and execution of a Ukrainian prisoner of war in Novorodivka, and, uh, and, and, and that undoubtedly again is evidence of a war crime. And meanwhile, the drones coming back from Russia into Ukraine, 46 of 52 drones were shot down by Ukrainian defense. Uh, and, uh, and and three or four K, KH-3 guided missiles. Uh, all, all, all of this strongly suggests um, a sort of upturn, a, an, an, an optimistic swing in the step for Ukraine. Um, and, and, and there's also talk... There's a lot of chatter about Putin's health. This time, it's not about whether or not he's in a fridge. It's about whether or not he's, uh, his sanity is still intact. So it's not about whether his body survives. It's whether his mind is, 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 is there. I, long ago, I decided his body had been abandoned. Uh, but um, his mind, like Sauron, like the mind of Sauron, continues, except in the, um, in, in, in the futile and rather mad and unwatchable rings of power. I keep thinking, maybe I've missed an episode. But no, uh, last night I managed to catch the episode that I thought I'd missed, and it's still incomprehensible. And that is that is why it's so important to have some sort of commentary on YouTube, which I hope I'm adding to, and I hope I'm giving some sort of context. The context is that This is about desperation on the part of Russia. Uh, desperation and deceit. And there's a point at which this is now going to start to seep over and be noticed by the ordinary Russian population. And people, pe people on YouTube leave comments saying all 85% 80, of Russia uh, supports the special military operation 85% of Russia can barely read. 85% of Russia is glued to the television screens, and that is it. They don't pick up a book or a newspaper. They have no access to information except what comes through the Russian state television. And the Russian state television is dominated by propaganda and doctored news. Not only doctored news, but doctored films. And even when I was last in Russia, in 2019, I think, I was collecting information about the... I, I was going to the cinema and I was watching films. And I was thinking, how odd. This film has been slightly changed. Or this isn't what I read about. And I, 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 I realized that in the... In the um, certainly if I went to see a film 
in English with Russian subtitles. The subtitles would not say what the English performance was saying, particularly if it was something which was LGBTQ plus sensitive. And there were a number of films, and I, 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 um, I, I did, I did some work on that um, in a blog, and I put up something about that this morning. So. Uh, I think I was there at the beginning, and indeed, I was. Uh, I found myself in a position where, where my own, where, where what I was saying was being distorted in interviews, and I don't think it was. I don't think what I was saying was terribly important. I don't think the distortion was terribly important, but the fact that it was distorted, and they were just seeing how much they could get away with, and the fact that I had the evidence. And John Curtis, who was also a victim of this distortion, felt that there was something wrong, but he didn't have the evidence. Uh, well, whatever they did to John Curtis, I think, was more serious than what they did to me. But, you know, that's the point. They were trying out the techniques. And these techniques are very well honed now. It's five years on. It's more than five years on. And this is a very efficient propaganda and censorship organization with laws to back up uh, anybody who sort of and, and, and to penalize anybody who gets out of line no one is going to go into the street no one is going to question what Putin did but people are now privately going to start noticing and certainly the people that I speak to notice and and I'm now very reluctant to be in touch with many people because I don't want to compromise them at all um, but uh, it's dangerous people who question the regime in the early days of the uh, uh, of the special military operation I had friends who were out with posters and um, they're quite vigorous in their opposition now they've gone very quiet because they realize that they will be arrested and they also realize they will be conscripted and put into the front line into the meat grinder and they will die um, for a cause they don't believe in and, and and the problem is so many of the families that I knew in Moscow the one side of the family is Russian, the other side is Ukrainian, one side is Christian, the other side is Jewish. Um, and th that is routine. It's routine. And there's some... Um, what, what Putin has done is to is make people choose. We can't uproot and move. And where would they move to? They move from a country which is relatively safe to a country which is under attack, or they move out of Russia and Ukraine completely, and that requires visas and all manner of organization. And many people wanted to do it, and many people delayed and delayed, and now it's almost impossible. There was a huge surge of people into Georgia, and Armenia and Azerbaijan and and Turkey and this is there is no evidence really that um, that the country is behind Putin the country is not the evidence points in the other direction, but it's very difficult to articulate because people are suppressed so much. So, so it's it's left to sort of anecdotal um, evidence and um, and listening to what people don't say. Uh, the 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 interviews on the street where people are asked, "What do you think?" When you start listening to them, there's an absence of people praising Putin. 
people are resilient. People are sort of quietly, quietly supportive. But you don't hear them saying, what a wonderful president we've got anymore. And it's that absence which is telling. 